All right, during this episode, we're gonna hit the slopes. from the parking lot to the bottom of the mountain and we're out of breath walking from the parking lot. But we're ready to get going. Now let me pause for a second to talk about gear since you can see that I have a DSLR with me on this trip. Now the camera that I'm using is my very first DSLR that I ever owned, which is a Sony A350. This is a nine year old camera. I'm using it because I recognize there's some risk in bringing a nice camera on a ski slope. So that's why I'm using this old backup. The lens is a Tamron 18 to 270, which is also several years old. So between the two, you could probably pick up this set on eBay for a few hundred dollars. Now hopefully this shows you that you can still get great results with very inexpensive or dated gear. All right, enough about the gear, let's get back to it. So we got a little bit of a jump. Jessie's gonna go down before me. She's gonna have the camera, get the GoPro going. We're just gonna set it to a fast shutter speed. She's gonna pick a focus point, wait for me, and hopefully catch some uh, action. I don't think I'll really catch a lot of air. I don't really <laughs> jump very high. But hopefully an action shot is what we're going for. Whoa! All right, so if you are gonna take a nice camera out on the slopes, a couple things to be aware of. When it's really cold, you're not gonna get a lot of battery life, so bring a lot of batteries, because you are gonna run out of batteries because it's cold out. Um, a little clip like this, this is a Peak Design Capture clip to strap onto your backpack. It goes a long way, makes it really easy to deal with. And then lastly, when it's super cold outside, before you go inside, make sure to take your camera off, put it in the bag, Try to wrap it in a towel something because you don't want to go from super cold to inside without giving the camera the chance to acclimate in a bag, something to kind of moderate the temperature going in because otherwise it runs the risk of getting condensation on the sensor, which will pretty much ruin the camera. So a couple quick tips and uh, having fun shooting uh, with a nice camera, getting some cool action shots, portrait shots, stuff like that that I might otherwise not get with uh, a GoPro or a phone. Good stuff. All right, so I took the uh, lift up to the very top of the mountain, and we are actually sitting on top of the Continental Divide. And I'm just having fun from a photography perspective, just trying to be creative up here. Uh, visibility is really low today, so I'm not gonna get any sweeping vista views or anything like that, but it's still an opportunity to be somewhat creative and uh, cool snow, rocks. Uh, a few people up here sitting around that I think I can get some pretty interesting shots of. So just having fun, literally sitting on top of the mountain, uh, top of the Continental Divide. Hi, remember how I said I was on top of the mountain, on top of the Continental Divide? The only problem with that is you actually have to get down from there. And uh, I decided to take a black down and uh, I'm not really a black skier, so it's taking me some time, but so far, I uh, haven't managed to fall. It's going good, but definitely taking my time.
All right, I thought this would be a really cool spot to just talk and uh, give a little bit of discussion around taking photos on a ski slope. So I really think there's three primary things that I was trying to capture while I was out here with my camera. So one was action shots. So obviously people skiing down the mountain, you know, catching them in full action, um, as many cool different shots on action as I could get. The tip to that I found was I went to shutter priority. I set it to uh, exposure compensation about plus one because in the white snow that'll throw your camera off you want to overexpose because of all the white snow and that'll help you get the right exposure so shutter priority and I tried to keep it usually around one one thousandth of a second on shutter speed because I want a super fast shutter speed so bringing the big camera up on the slopes is uh, pretty sweet uh, it gives me tons of opportunities to get some really cool pictures Takes a little bit of extra effort, but uh, in my opinion, it's been worth it. Um, the hardest part thus far has actually not been, you know, setting the camera or anything like that. It's actually just been get finding really cool action shots because I'm pretty much, uh, it's just me and Jesse out here skiing. Jesse will admit she's not really a fast, adventurous skier. Um, so she's doing more of the greens. When I go off on the blues, I don't really have anyone to photograph. So. I just kind of sit there and I found a couple of really cool spots, but then nobody comes by. So in hindsight, it'd be a lot better. You can get some really good shots if you went with a group, uh, people that are really good skiers that you could have, you, know, you could go down in front, have them come behind you, you know, three, four, five people in a row, get really good shots. So that's what I feel like I'm missing right now is just the ability to, you know, have a group of people, set up a shot, uh, wait for them to come through, hit a little jump, you know, kick up a lot of snow, whatever it may be. I just know we can get some, there's a lot of really good shots out here. It's just tough to do when you're by yourself or you know, with Jesse, Jesse doesn't really like to ski fast. So um, I've asked a couple people, if they'd let me photograph them, follow them down, but uh, I guess that's a little too creepy and uh, they said no. <laughs> so it's all good, we're making it work. And so those action shots are really the first thing that I found was you know really awesome to capture out here on the mountain uh, second thing was you know landscape type shot so honestly that was probably what I felt I didn't get the most when I was out here uh, there wasn't a lot of great visibility I tried to get you know different landscape shots you can see I'm putting a few of them up here on the screen uh, but anytime you're up on the mountains there's gonna be great landscape shot opportunities so Capturing those up on the mountain was really cool. Again, I probably think I didn't get the most out of the landscape shots while I was here, um, but I captured what I could. And then third are like portrait shots and not just people staring at the camera saying smile cheese, uh, but more just, you know, people standing around capturing the essence of the, the ski slopes, the mountains with people in them. Those are always some of my favorite shots to take. And I think I got some pretty good portrait shots uh, being out here and you know pretty simple techniques there just look for good composition you know look for people to really set into the elements and uh, see what kind of creativity you can create in some of those portrait shots so those are really the three primary different types of photos i found myself taking out here on the slopes uh, with the camera uh, having some really good times uh, out here on the slopes all right, thanks for watching this video on photographytv.com. Please subscribe to us on YouTube.